Hi, and welcome to the show. March Networks is an Ottawa, Canada-based company operating within the field of video surveillance. The company trades on the Toronto Stock Exchange under the symbol MN. In June 2011, March Networks announced that they were doing a review of strategic alternatives, which led investors wondering what exactly they meant. Today, March is announcing Q2 fiscal 2012 results and shedding some light on what exactly they meant by strategic alternatives by announcing a proposed all-cash purchase of March by New Jersey-based Infinova, another player within the field of video surveillance. Here to talk to us today is Peter Strom, CEO of March Networks. Peter, welcome to the show. Hi, it's great to be here. In June 2011, you released that the company was in discussions about strategic alternatives to create new value. What, what did you exactly announce today? Uh, well, today we announced that the Infinova Corporation, which is a New Jersey-based company with uh, significant operations in China, will be acquiring uh, all the outstanding shares of March Networks. And so what's this deal valued at for the company? Well, the, uh, the share offer today is uh, $5 per share, uh, which gives us a total uh, deal value of about $90 million. I'm looking up Infinova here. You know, what was the motivation for dealing with this company specifically? Well, I think it's an exciting opportunity for, for both companies, actually. We, we have been uh, looking at the Asian market for quite some time. We recognize there's a tremendous growth opportunity out there, but we also had realistic expectations about being able to penetrate that market on a standalone basis. Infinova has extensive operations over there, is actually known as one of the market leaders. And so with a combined, combined organization between March Networks and, and, and Infinova, we are now one of the top five uh, standalone players from a revenue perspective and also truly have a global footprint. So have these guys been a competitor up to this point? No, I think that's what makes us unique in the sense that Infinova with their operations in China, an area we really haven't been strong in the past, we rarely run into them in the market as competitors. So we really feel this is very, very complimentary for both companies. Now, one of the elements of this deal is that it's scheduled to close sometime around the end of May 2012 or within the next five months approximately. You know. What are some of the key milestones over this next five months to get this deal over the finish line and get it closed? Well, from our perspective, it's business as usual for the next five months. Uh, we, we have laid out some pretty aggressive plans from a product development perspective as well as channel development. We'll continue to focus on the day-to-day -day business and we need to continue to, to improve financial performance and deliver on those results. So to us, really, it is business as usual for the next five months. So your Q2 results did come in around 21.9 million in revenue with a loss of about 2.4 million for fiscal 2012. This number Is this number down because customers wanted to see what you had in mind when you announced the strategic uh, review? Yeah, I mean, there's no question that, you know, when we announced the strategic review, certainly some of our large enterprise customers probably took a bit of a pause and uh, was looking for some, some definitive uh, stability in the company itself. Uh, we think by announcing this deal, uh, that stability will be there and that confidence will be there. And, and subsequently, we think we'll be back to business as usual. We, we also had a, a very large customer who we had anticipated getting some revenue in, uh, in Q1 and Q2. That's how subsequently got pulled into Q3. And, uh, and as a result, we have a, a, you know, a very significant order we, we recently announced for about $16 million that uh, we'll be the, focusing on delivering on in Q3 and Q4. Now, this is the biggest order in the company's history. Obviously, that's some serious momentum. So March must be doing something oh, right. There's no doubt. I mean, we, we haven't been standing still and, 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 and the teams have been out there continuing to develop a, a healthy pipeline. So overall, we feel pretty good about our business prospects going forward, particularly in the second half of the year. So let's assume the deal closes, shareholders get their cash, but what about customers? What does the, the March networks look like, say, 12 months from now? Well, I, obviously, we look at we're a much larger corporation, and uh, we truly have a, a global footprint. We'll have you know extensive capabilities to service our customers in North America. Uh, we'll be looking at leveraging uh, the the installation base as well as the presence of Infinova in China to start servicing our customers growing in the Asian region much more effectively. So, I envision we'll have certainly a very strong balance sheet to make the customers feel good. Uh, we will have a broadened product line and, a, and, a, and probably one of the larger geographic footprints in the industry today. Peter, congratulations on the deal. Best of luck in Thank 2012. For more information on March Networks, you can go to InvestorChannel.tv. 